Megan from Care Merseyside. Hi, I'm Mary Kay from Care Merseyside. So we both work for Care Merseyside, which is a social prescribing charity, and we're down here at Nosley Safari Park today, just doing a wellbeing program that they put on, and Care Merseyside has partnered with them to be able to offer the community spaces and weekly programmes to do stuff with the animals to boost wellbeing. So it's been really fun, hasn't it's it? It's been really good. Everyone's really enjoying themselves and we've all like become friends as well. So it's really fun. Yeah, getting outside with nature, doing fun activities with the animals is a good programme to get involved with if you might be feeling low or isolated or just needing a bit of a pick-me-up. Um, so definitely getting involved with that has helped people's wellbeing over the past few weeks and hopefully will continue to do so. So what animals have you looked at so far? Um, meerkats. Really, We've yeah? fed the meerkats, so people fed them some live crickets and that was like hands-on activity and we just walked around, it was really nice weather and then today we've seen the tiger and we made some enrichment for the tigers, so enrichment is stuff that they would learn that I didn't know what it was before, that they can play with. We did that for the meerkats, so the meerkats had a little bowl and the participants put live crickets inside the bowl and then thrown that inside and seen how the meerkats interacted with that. And then the tigers, we covered like what are they, woven bags, sacks. yeah, <laughs> sacks with scents, different scents of the tigers and filled them with, this is going to test our knowledge. Different bits of bedding and hay. Bedding. And then give them to the tigers and we seen the tiger and got to have a Q&A, people got to ask questions. So obviously it's boosting wellbeing but it's really boosting knowledge as well. Well I think it benefits obviously the wellbeing but it also Everyone gets to meet new people, so I think especially over the past few years with COVID and lockdown, and if you are suffering with your mental health, everyone has mental health, so if you are suffering with your mental health or your wellbeing being a bit isolated or just you've not really got the opportunity to do something like this before, I think it's really good to have ex new experiences. But I think most participants as well, they have an interest in animals, so it's given people, the community, a platform to be able to, you know, really like in delve into an interest that they already have and be able to get that through the partnership yeah. with Care Merseyside and things Liverpool's offering such good, Nosley is offering such good kind of programmes for people to get involved with. What was some of the stuff that you keepers were saying about the Tigers? I said that they've got an organ underneath the lip, can't remember what it was called, um, she struggled to pronounce it herself. And it's like the sense, what was it? It gives them like... It gives them information. Yeah. Um, from all different information from one scent that the, the tigers can pick up. So we have learned so much. Yeah. Because um, we're trying to remember what they were saying. But even, I think if you just come to Nose Safari Park, you don't get the same experience. Whereas you get taken around by the workers and you, like we said, you get the Q&A from the keepers. I think so it feels like a special experience. Um, for the community rather than just you know coming in one day and just having a look around yourself it's yeah, been yeah. a bit more guided and, and interactive and personal. Oh, yeah. So how many weeks the programme's for? Six. So over six weeks? Yeah, over six weeks. Do you know what, what you're going to be doing next week? Yeah, so next week we're going to go to the baboons. Yeah, we're going on like a wildlife tour of the, the drive. The drive so that no one else's cars mm. has to get ruined. We're about that. Yeah, yeah, no one else's window wipers have to yeah. get taken down by the monkeys. But um, we're all going to go together. So it really is like that sense of unity with everyone because we've got to know each other more over a week. So we feel quite familiar with each other coming into the sessions. And I, hopefully, I, I hope that people feel more confident with the workers to ask them more questions yeah. and get more involved. But um, yeah, we're going to feed the balloons next week. Did you get to see the tigers today? Yes. Maron? I think the tigers. Maron. Maron. Sleep twenty hours a day. Massive animal. Was he a teenage tiger? He was mid middle aged. Was he nine? Nine. Nine years old. We could see him, and this solid. How do you pronounce that word? Solitary. 
don't you anymore, so he's... Best of luck alone. Yeah. But he needs to crack on if he's middle-aged, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he was having a little nap and he looked really sweet. And yeah, the, the where he is, he's got so much space and he's yeah. very, very, very... Looks very happy. Yeah. I'd be happy for him there, so... <laughs> yeah, so what about the therapeutic walk? Just walking around the park is actually quite therapeutic with the trees and, and the paths. Yeah. But I think we're quite lucky because we've had quite good weather. Yeah. So instantly you mean to lift with the weather, but just all the nature that's around the park. Yeah. Like. And it's a good opportunity for us to all kind of get to know one another and talk and make new friendships and, and that. Yeah, and breathe in some fresh air. Yeah. So, it's been a really good experience so far. We've done loads of things. People have got involved. People have shown up, which is yeah. the best thing because there'd be no point in having a programme if nobody came to it. Yeah. Um, and we've, our moods have been lifted each week. Yeah, so another thing, at the start of each session, we kind of, the guys have got us doing things, more interactive activities, so we've been painting stones, so painting's very, very therapeutic. When I started painting the stone, I was literally like, I could sit yeah, and do stone this stone for hours. hours, we didn't have enough time, and we've been feeling in like a well-being form at the start, and afterwards, on each day that we're here, just to see how, you know, I think when you recognise how much it can lift you up, because when you get out of bed, you might feel a bit groggy or a bit, it's like, oh. And then when you come back, you see that wildlife and being outside and interacting with animals can actually benefit your well-being. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so my name's Hannah. Um, so I'm one of the um, educators here at the Safari Park. Um, so I've been working here for about a year now and we've been doing this programme. Um, we started doing it just around the time that I started. Um, so it started off with community groups and now of course we've got a partnership with um, Ken Merseyside, which we're really excited about. Um, so yeah, I've done my fair share of wellbeing programmes and it's really nice to um, get to know a new group of people um, and just kind of see them kind of come out of their shell a little bit as the weeks go on and um, hopefully um, that they feel that their wellbeing is a little bit kind of lifted um, after the sessions. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Anna from Care Merseyside um, and yeah, we've been taking part on the wellbeing programme for two weeks now. Um, it's been really interesting, really great for our mood. We all come in and then leave feeling much better, confident, um, skilled up and it's just a really new experience and like the girls said earlier, get to know people, get out of your comfort zone a little bit, get your hands a bit dirty, <laughs> it's a really nice um, opportunity. So what was your experience last week with that meerkat? Um, so I had to hold a very wriggly bug. <laughs> you guys did very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, which was, I was a bit like, ooh. But it was really good. Um, and then we like threw them into the meerkats, um, found out a little bit of information about them. Um, that was really fun. And then today we went to see the tiger um, and we did a bit of work for it. Um, yeah, it's just a bit really educational and great. Um, so Care Mays Sad is a social prescribing charity that offers non-clinical support um, for people who may be struggling with their mental health, experiencing social isolation and basically um, you can self-refer to us or you can come through from the GP and um, that way you'll speak to a member of our team and we'll navigate you through signposting services or you can join one of our activities where we have like creative writing, walking groups, yoga, drama, lots of different activities going on like this amazing opportunity here um, and it's all to boost wellbeing and to bring you into new groups and basically just feel more supported than you were before. Fabulous, that's like a, uh, an, an, an add-on to the sort of the clinical approach from the doctor. Yeah. How's the contact? Um, so, <laughs> Our website is um, www.kimmersside.org.uk um, and if you want more information, um, all the Nursley GPs do have signposts and services to Kim Merseyside. Um, so if you are feeling a little bit isolated at the moment or you're experiencing anxiety, feeling low mood, um, definitely make an appointment with your doctor and if you mention Kim Merseyside or social prescribing to them, to them, and um, they will talk about Kenneth's side and the whole navigation of it.